Patrick coming at you guys today with a brand new video. Uh, today's video is going to be extremely random. These are all going to be pretty much thrift store, uh, bookstore, Goodwill finds I've found this week. Um, I've recently started collecting Goosebump books again. I'm trying to go back and collect the original series that I once had as a child and it's been difficult. Um, I've gone to probably about 30 plus thrift stores, used bookstores, all that. You can name it this week alone, trying to track these down. I have a good chunk of them. I'm only missing about 20 something now. So I did get the majority of them. Um, I'm gonna go through them really quickly with you guys today. I also have a few things I randomly just picked up while I was at thrift stores. I just kind of found weird obscure things. Um, and then keep an eye out, I'm gonna have a separate video, which is gonna be an unboxing of two movies I picked up from Best Buy this morning. Um, some new releases there, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be including some free digital codes in that. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first thing I found, I'll go through that today. Um, this I found at a local Goodwill. Let's grab it. And this is Movie Seen It. Um, this is the second edition. It was $1.99. I actually paid 30 cents for it. They had some kind of deal going on today. I enjoy the Seen It games, um, especially movie trivia. Since I watch a lot of movies, I know a good amount of trivia, so I actually do enjoy playing those every once in a while. And I figured for 30 cents, why not pick it up and play it? Um, it's from that same place. I found a VHS that is Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I love this cover, cheesy film, and for 30 cents as well, I figured why not pick it up. It's sealed, sorta. It's sealed all around except the back little square here is not sealed, and that's because it comes with free Killer Tomato seeds. Someone must have ripped the seeds off the back. I don't know why. Um, but for uh, I really like this cover, and I think it'll be a nice little shelf piece, so I figured why not pick it up. Um, this I found at a local bookstore while I was searching for Goosebumps. I paid two bucks for that. Um, it's a shop called Black and Reed, but it's, or Black and Red, but I think it's, it's spelled like R-E-A-D, like Reed, I don't know. Um, but I got this Scooby-Doo. I love this film. It's a fun film. And the second one's okay. Uh, but they had the slipcover and I was kind of surprised because I, I don't think the slipcover is easy to find. I could be wrong. Um, so we'll go into Goosebumps. Uh, I'll start off with these ones here. This one I found at a store called Second and Charles. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of those around. I know there's two here in Colorado, and I think there might be a few in other states, but I got this for $1.50. <clears throat> it says Goosebumps number 23, Return of the Mummy. And this, these are the ones I got from that same bookstore that I got the movie Scooby-Doo from. So I got four of them there, which is Go Eat Worms number 21. I got Beware of the Snowman number 51. This one I was really excited about. It's one of my favorite covers. However, it was missing the mask. So I'm still keeping an eye out for one that has the mask. This is on a mask number 11. And this one I got from a bookstore today. I don't think I already showed this one to Mayhem. Number six, let's get invisible. Got this for a dollar. <coughs> um, next up, most of these I got from one person. He uh, was selling them on Craigslist. I got 32 books. I think I paid about 25 bucks. So it was like less than a dollar a book. Uh, first two he got, these are not part of the original series, but he threw them in for free. And I was like, why not? Uh, so I got a special edition of number two of The More Tales to give you goosebumps right here and this is the spook 10 spooky stories you get in that one these are all in pretty good shape too i'm actually pretty pleased um the guy that i got these this big haul from took pretty good care of his stuff and then this is uh give yourself goosebumps number one these are pretty cool i remember actually i had a few of these and they, they were like strange because it was you, like create your own story and ending you know you'd follow through the pages and you make choices in the book uh, which was really kind of neat thing to do. I like doing stuff like that. So it was like a unique thing. You can get multiple outcomes and stuff. Uh, one of the books had a bookmark in it. Goosebumps bookmark. So that was cool. And we got number 50, which is Calling All Creeps. Number one, which is Dead House. Or Welcome to Dead House. Number two, Stay Out of the Basement. Probably one of my all-time favorites. I love this one so much. This is number three, Monster Blood. 
This one I may have shown in another video. This is number four, say cheese and die. However, I got another one of these because the one I originally had was a reprint, not an original print. He gave me the, the original print. Got Night of the Living Dummy, number seven. Number 10 is The Ghost Next Door. We got uh, number 12, Be Careful What You Wish For. And I'm throwing these everywhere. <laughs> Piano Lessons Can Be Murder, number 13. Monster Blood 2. And I've read a lot of these Goosebumps books. I mean, I read a lot of them as a kid. Um, there's definitely a few of them I've never read. I haven't actually read a single Monster Blood, and I know there's like four of them. So I want to definitely check those ones out. This is another one of my favorites, Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, number 20. Uh, Phantom of the Auditorium, number 24. My Hairiest Adventure, number 26. Hopefully you guys can see these. I'm just going really quickly because there's so much of them and I don't want to make another 30 minute video. Um, A Night at Terror Towers this is another one I really enjoyed, number 27. Cuckoo Clock of Doom, number 28. Here's another Monster Blood, Monster Blood 3. At number 29 um, this is another good one number 38 came from beneath the sink we got night of the living dummy part 2 number 31 we got the barking ghost number 32 sorry guys it's freaking hot as hell in Denver it's like 100 degrees today so it might be look like I'm sweating this is the horror I can jelly jam number 33 we got Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes at 34. Shocker on Shock Street, number 35. And this one I know I definitely showed in another video I recently got was Haunted Mask 2. This is a different copy. The other one was a first print, but it was a little beat up. This one was a little bit better shape. So I got the better shape one. I'm going to give the other one to my nephew, who I've just been introducing to Goosebumps. He's been watching the show and starting to read the books, um, and he loves it. So... I'm starting to get him into this too. This is number 37, which is the Headless Ghost. Here's another one of my all-time favorites. This is the Bottomless Snowman of uh, Pasadena, number 38. This one I also really enjoy, my, How I Got My Shrunken Head, number 39. <clears throat> we got Night of the Living Dummy 3, number 40. The Beast from the East, number 43. And Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, number 48. And I know I showed off Don't Go in the Basement again. That is another one I had gotten over the weekend that I got from a library that was just terrible condition. Pages were yellowed, uh, stickers all over the thing. This guy had a way better copy. So I'm also giving the other one to my nephew to have and enjoy. Uh, that's it. That's it for this. Like I said, I have another video coming. Uh, it's going to be an unboxing of two films I got today at Best Buy. I'll include the free digital codes. They're both 4K codes. So definitely go head over and watch that video. Um, I'm working on getting this done. I don't know if I'm going to keep going to get after I complete these. I might start doing the 2000 series and so on. But there's so many damn books. And I still have to read a lot of these because some of these I missed out on as a kid reading. But I've been driving everywhere looking for these damn things um but yeah if you guys like this video give me a thumbs down below like the uh like the video subscribe comment all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next video thank you